Though I was born in Kerala, I came to, my mother tongue was Tamil, and I came to Secunderabad, where my father was having a hotel in Kingsway. I studied here up to SSLC. My, therefore, I learned a lot of Hyderabad Telugu. Oh, nice. Then uh, normal character, Malayalam. My mother tongue is Tamil, therefore, this thing I do. Then I went to Annamalai University, then I studied a lot of books. Then I went to Calcutta to study some statistics. Then I went to Delhi again to specialize in agricultural statistics. There were all these travels to various places in India made me interested in languages. But then when I went out, I saw that a lot of uh, Indian literature in various languages are not known to other people because uh, they do not know the language, but the Hindi people, they did not know any Tamil books. And a Tamilian does not know any Hindi books. Therefore, I was wondering what I can do about it. That's one thing. Second thing is I used to attend this uh, classical music concerts. And in classical music concerts, I was not able to understand anything. Why, what they are singing, mm -hmm. what people say, wonderful, great, and all those things without understanding anything. Therefore, another aim in my life was to make people understand what they sing. Therefore, I retired after in 2000. By that time, I had published about 150 research papers. I had done a lot of work and I was a well-known statistician in India. Then, I, then as soon as I retired, I thought of thinking of what, what all, all these things. The first thing that I, want, I thought was that uh, our young people slowly are forgetting our mother tongue, our Sanskrit. And possibly after maybe about 100 years, they may not know any of these languages, any of these things. Once they forget this thing, they will not be able to understand any Hindu, Hindu books or Sanskrit books or books in their mother tongue. One thing. Another thing is I, I started learning about classical music lyrics mm -hmm. so that I can translate them. All these things I made and that I decided that I will translate as, as much as possible into English so that our future generation of people will understand what is Hinduism, what is Indianness, what is uh, our classical music, why they sing it, all those things. Then I started it slowly in, uh, in 2000. When I went to USA, I to my daughter. Then she told me, why don't you start putting all these things in computer. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I started some few translation, put it in computer. Then later on, I, I got a lot of interest that started, started translating, translating, like that. That's wonderful to hear, sir. Huh? I said that's wonderful. That's, that's such a nice rating. And uh, by now, I am telling about 22 years later, mm -hmm. I have translated about 2,500 prayers, 2,600 classical music, lyrics. I have written about 150 Kerala temples. I have written about 150 Tamil Nadu village temples. Mm -hmm. What is they called? Kavad Devu, means they are protecting the villages that they consider. They are they are not worshipped with pyramids, they were worshipped by other castes. Therefore, I was inter greatly interested, I know in that time, not I was interested in that type of temples. Then I started writing my own, whatever my thoughts. Mm -hmm. All these things I put in 15 different. What were the challenges you faced when making these translations? Okay. 15 different blocks. I Most of these things I. I could not read, for instance, Telugu. I could not read Kannada because I was not familiar with the script. Then, but then I, I knew the language. Therefore, this was the first challenge I faced. I want to translate, for instance, I want to translate the songs of Kavaya. All of them were in Telugu. There were about 600 songs. Therefore, I wanted to translate them, but I did not know script. 
Then I went on searching. I could find a book in Tamil giving the lyrics of these great uh, poets, great composers. And I used that and started translating. That is one thing. Another thing is, I, for instance, there's a Tamil great poem where every verse, the last word, will be the first word of the next words. Amzadi, end, start. Uh -huh. so I wanted to translate this into English in the same way. Wonderful. Yeah. So I did it, but it was like greatly challenging. Thing. Take time to... It take it. time, because I, I have to bring the meaning, I have to do this thing. I, I did it. Then when I was doing like this, one, some little lady from Hong Kong, she asked me, I am a Malayali. My mother, my father used to read Malayalam Ramayana. I am not, I want to read it, but I do not know how to read it because I do not know Malayalam. Can you type it and translate it? Then I did it. That was the first challenge that I took really in that book. Very big book. Ramayana is a first When I did that first this thing, somebody asked me, can you not translate while making a way after all you know Sanskrit? 24,000 words is I did it. Wow. Then uh, he, same fellow, same man asked me, why don't you translate Kambara Mayana? Nobody has translated it. Mm. That was why they did it. So you are the first to do that? Ah, yes. Malayalam also I was the first one. Right. Tamil also I was the first one. Why make it Ramayana? Many people have translated it. That's so amazing, sir. It's very clear how passionate you are about these classics. It's clear how you have preserved them for future generations. But as apart from classics, what other kind of books do you enjoy reading? For instance, um, I, I have translated uh, translated Bhagavad Gita, I have translated uh, uh, Yaksha Prashna, I have translated Vyamana Chataka from Telugu. All these things I have translated. That's the great effort. They are not uh, uh, religious books. Yes. It's very nice, sir. And uh, nowadays, what else do you do? Are there any hobbies that you have? Anything you enjoy? Yes, I have. I, am, I belong to an astrologer's family. Oh, wow. Therefore, I, I do practice astrology for the long, for the past 25, 30 years, all yes. free, without taking any money. Nice. Not <laughs> yes. You should also publish a newspaper like everybody does, astrology. I tried, but mm -hmm. then I was not interested in people, ah, contacting sure. people. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. For instance, you people, how you came to report me, I am surprised because uh, mm -hmm. I ra rarely tell about me anywhere. Oh. No sir, we have heard about you, we have heard about the amazing work that you do. And thank you for coming here today so that we can award you with this. Thank you so that we thank can thank you for that. For, for example, you know, for, for instance, when your first letter came, you had written that uh, you had awarded the same award to the creator of Amar Chitra Katha. I was surprised because I am nowhere near him. Sir, you have <laughs> translated so many works, first person to do it. You have, uh, you know, hundreds of these works you have translated. So yes, I have translated about uh, 60,000 pages of uh, five, five different languages. Amazing, sir. Amazing. And uh, I also want to tell you, many people ask me, <laughs> Why don't you publish them as book? Hmm. Everybody who wanted to meet me asked me, Why don't you publish them as a book? You have translated so much. Then I tell them that uh, suppose a book is published by somebody. Well, initially, the first edition will be about 1,000, second edition another 1,000. Hmm. And hardly they go above third edition. But my 60,000 pages have been read about by four crores of people. Therefore, I, I want, I know that there will still be, right? still it will be the major uh, book for people to read in future generations. Thank you so much for the work that you have done, sir. You have made a huge impact on this country and we here in the Food for Thought Foundation want to thank you with our award. Thank, thank you, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for this interview also, sir. Is there anything else that you would like to share with an audience? No, please, no more questions. Ah, yes, sir. We already talked. We talked about your interests and we talked about your challenges. Okay. Thank you. Is there something you would like to share that's not in our question? Something I write poems. I write children's stories. Uh -huh. 
Amazing. Or English. Oh, you know, I have a website of uh, about 150 children's stories. Yes. We will share uh, your website details with our viewers so they can read your poems. I, I also write a lot of poems. I have a, I have a website of uh, poems. I write, I translate, I write poems. Great. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for the interview as well. I think that's yeah. us. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. And uh, thank you for coming all the way. I know the journey must have been very tiring. I no, hope that no, you not like that. As I told you, no. Visiting Hyderabad is very important. Yes. It is my childhood place. Exactly. It is where the, I have a For instance, uh, mm -hmm. you are having a function in a school. No? Yeah, yeah. Opposite to that school, there is a public garden. Ah. Once upon a time. Okay. Therefore, I, we used to come to the public garden to eat. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. My father still eats that for breakfast and all. Really enjoy it. Yeah. And uh, we will see you at the function also, sir. When you go there, we will award you that on the stage. We have the ceremony and everything. So you will have the physical award there. And even on the stage, you will have a chance to share your story. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Sir.